So we have one character slot left for DLC Season Pass 1. We got the return of Eddie, who I really like in this game. Despite the hate, I think they've done a great job at reworking Eddie. I love to watch him and I love playing him as well. W Namco, despite the hate. We got the return of Lydia, who is a complete opposite of what I expected her to be. She's the last character I thought would be 50-50 heavy, but she does look like a fun character to play. And let's be honest, she should have been in the game. And lastly, with the last reviewed character being the return, of Hei Hachi Mishima. So these three characters made up season pass one and we finally have the last slot. So which character makes this last last slot? In my last video I talked about returning characters or the characters I would want to return to the Tekken franchise but I didn't talk about the guest characters because there is still a chance that it might be a guest character. Harada did say season one won't be revolving around guest characters but at this point we can't trust Harada after the shit you put with Heiji, bro, like, bro, that was crazy. So, DLC characters, guest characters, who returns for this final slot? So, let's talk about who I would want to see or who's more likely to be in this game. Okay, so first, let's get the obvious out of the way. Tifa Lockhart, probably the most requested guest character for Tekken. Since Tekken 7, people have been crying for Tifa Lockhart. I think this opened the door when Namco brought Lucius or Noctis Lucius Kylem. It was so weird, bro, seeing such a so Calibasque character in Tekken. So I think that opened the gate to like everyone just crying for Tifa. Like everyone and their grandmother wants Tifa to be in in Tekken and honestly I don't blame them like Tifa fits like Tifa is a guest character you'd expect have already featured in a Tekken game like honestly speaking if you look at Tifa guys she just fits in the game like her play style her fighting style she just fits I don't even know how else I can explain it now I'm not a huge Final Fantasy fan however I did watch Final Fantasy Advent Children and I have played at least the first few chapters of the remake, Final Fantasy VII. So in the slums, you get to play Tifa at the beginning of the game. Like the slums with, with um, Cloud, right? You're doing some side missions and all that stuff. So you move around with, with Tifa and you get to use her as well. So when I first got my hands on Tifa, I was like, whoa. Honestly, first, she fine as hell. Like Tifa, sheesh. <laughs> she fine as hell. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows Tifa hella fine. But like, she just feels good even to play like she feels good she definitely just like she just wants to kick ass bro and that's her fighting style the whole thing with her magic her arms glow up right she fits like that's just screaming hit to me all this magic stuff you're seeing would be like a good hit mechanic she doesn't have like any weird ass project there is magic in this game but like they can really balance it out and not add like weird magic projectiles and stuff like that but like tifa is an obvious pick obviously a lot of people want her to be in the game and I think she's most likely going to make it. I think there's a new Final Fantasy game coming out. It's already out. I'm not really too sure. But like Tifa, demand is so high that at this point, I think Namco will crack. Tifa is my number one pick to be the guest character of Tekken 8. Number two, this one will be unexpected, but I would want to see the return of Akuma. <laughs> it's like, I'm just playing. Ain't nobody want Akuma ass. Get the fuck out of here. Guess Howard. Guess Howard deserves to return in Tekken. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not like the 2D playstyle, right? Jumping and fireballs. That needs to be worked. Take away his, his Repuken or rework it in a sense that it's not really a projector. Maybe add it in a combo or make it an exclusive war combo or like a string or something. But like, just get the projectiles out of this goddamn game, please. The only projector we have right now is Victor Pistol, I believe. We don't have any other projectile. Maybe Raven's Hit Smash is another one. But overall, rework his Repuken and rework his jump. Like, he doesn't have to come with 2D mechanics. We've talked about this a million times back in Tekken 7. So, a rework to Giz Howard is what I want to see. This character is amazing. This character is sick. This character fits Tekken and actually makes a really good villain. I like that the snippet we got with the trailer when we got his, with his first trailer with Heihachi. Mishima, this world is too big for you to control. Leave it all to me. You can just die. I mean, come on. He just makes a good villain in this game as well. And I don't think he'll make like main storyline or like main story, but if he did, bro, holy shit. Geese just fits. I think so many people love Geese. Even Arslan loves Geese, bro. And Arslan hates 2Ds, but he loves Geese, right? So, a rework to Geese Howard, I would love to see. But an alternative version would be Rock Howard, who happens to be Geese Howard's son. I'm not a huge SNK fan of Fatal Fury or KOF. I haven't played KOF in a long ass time, bro. Probably like, what, 
10 years ago or some shit like that. It's been so long since I touched this game. But like, I wouldn't mind because Giz is sick. So seeing Rock Howard, his son, would make a good fit. SF6 just got Terry Bogard. Terry Bogard would be another choice out one for his game. But since he's already in SF6, I don't think he'll make Tekken 8. Like a double DLC feature? In SF6 and Tekken, I don't see that shit happening, bro. If it's possible, <laughs> huge W, bro. Terry Bogart in Tekken and Street Fighter? Holy shit. That would be dope. That would be sick. So, guess how it returns? Alternative version being Rock Howard, his son, or Terry Bogard, if possible, which I don't find likely or I don't see likely. And lastly, this one will catch a lot of you off guard, but I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking of this. And it's been teased actually by Harada, or people thought he was going to make a, an appearance in Tekken because of what Harada posted. Yes, Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Like, listen to me, guys. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Scorpion would be sick AF in Tekken, right? Firstly, he does not have a projectile, thank god. Yes, he has the chain, but the chain can be part of like a combo or like a wall combo, but not like a full screen launcher, that would be hella broken. But like just away from the chain, he doesn't really have any projectiles. He does have like the hellfire stuff, but like all that really can be like working to his skate or like his hit mechanic or something like that. Maybe the teleports would be a problem, but like they can balance it out. Like let's say Victor. Victor does have some teleports, but they're balanced out, right? They're not overwhelming. They aren't OP or anything like that. So Scorpion would be sick. And Scorpion is like the, let me say like the mascot of like the MK series. Kind of like how Ryu is for Street Fighter and Jin or Kazuya is for Tekken. So Scorpion is that for MK. And I think he would make an awesome fit in Tekken bro just think of Scorpion bro in Tekken like how sick would that be right I'm not a huge MK fan either but like MK has one of the best and most iconic characters of all fucking time let's be honest guys like MK oh my there's a reason why MK sells as much as it does yes people say it's not a very, it's not a very good game I'm actually not a huge MK fan like yeah MK animations kind of look like cheeks <laughs> let's be honest but like just the IP on its own Mortal Kombat, bro. Like, our characters are so iconic. It's very popular. It sells like hell. So, bringing Scorpion to Tekken 8 would be a massive dub. A massive dub. Now, currently, MK1 is ongoing. So, I think it would be a perfect time to bring Scorpion, right? Boost up the sales, you know, but hype up the game a bit because MK1 isn't doing really well, all things considered, in terms of popularity numbers and just the game overall. So, bringing Scorpion to Tekken 8 would be sick AF. So, yeah, these are my, my top three characters I would want to see in Tekken 8 as a guest character. Tifa, obvious W, character fine as hell. There's like pure martial arts, it's like magic shit, right? They can balance that out. A return of Giz Howard, predictable. Like, come on, guys, come on, right? I know the the, the Giz hate is out there, but like, it's fucking Giz, guys. Like, come on. Giz Howard return and balanced out. If not Giz, Terry Bogart, if possible, despite being in SF6. Uh, I doubt it though, but like it would be dope. And Rock Howard as a final option, Giz Howard's son would be dope. Then lastly, Scorpion, Hanzo Hisashi himself, the man, the myth, the most iconic Mortal Kombat character coming in Tekken 8 would be sick AF. And with what Tekken is right now, I wouldn't be surprised if Scorpion came and was bathed AF, teleporting all over the goddamn place, chains, fire, hellfire, chip damage, bro. That would, that would be so bathed. So, what do you guys think of this list and what would you want to see or who would you want to see as a returning guest character? Now there are so many so many other characters people talk about. Uh, Kiryu, Kazumi Kiryu is one of the most popular requested characters but if we found out that Kazumi cannot actually hit women. I think the owner that owns the rights for you know Yakuza doesn't want to see Kazumi Kiryu hitting women so I don't think that's likely going to happen because you know Tekken 8 ha does have a bunch of women bunch of kids too like Asuka and Lily so yeah that wouldn't be a very good sight to see doesn't look good for my man Kiryu what's his name again Baki Hama I think he's called he's another highly requested character I am not familiar with the character I haven't watched the anime but people seem to hella like him and he's hella hyped up so this is another possibility Solid Snake Metal Gear Solid is another very popular character um the thing is he does practice CQC, which is a very popular martial artist. I think even Victor does the same thing, similar to Dragonov in a sense as well. So, does that really come with a lot of uniqueness to him? But, like, I wouldn't mind seeing Snake in the goddamn game, bro. Like, Snake would be sick. So, 
these are some of the more popular characters people talk about or ask for i've seen batman requests i've seen naruto requests itachi dante virgil <laughs> it's crazy like at this point the floodgates are open right we saw negan in taken seven we saw noctis bro like at this point the floodgates are fucking open so who would you want to see return as a guest character do you think guest characters are a good idea in taken after what we went through with akuma and geese in taken seven give me your opinions boys let's talk about it so if you enjoyed the video please check out my other content including this one we've spoken about guest characters now but i spoke about returning taken characters would possibly make the cut so gg my boys and take care